an international well-known Finnish writer who specialized in comical novels, Mr. Arto Pasilinna has died. He passed away in an Espo nursing home uh, to the west of Helsinki in southern Finland on October the 15th, 2018 at the age of 76 years. He was born in the town of Kittila in the Finnish Lapland in April 1942. Originally he worked as a journalist, uh, but in 1975 he became a full-time or um, a majority time writer. One of the most successful novelists of Finland, <clears throat> he won a broad readership outside Finland in a way few other Finnish authors have before. His books have been translated, according to the Finnish uh, language Wikipedia, into 35 languages. <clears throat> Over 7 million copies of his books have been sold worldwide, and he has been claimed as instrumental in generating the current level of interest in books from Finland. <clears throat> He is probably best known internationally for his novel uh, published in 1975, The Year of the Hare, Yannick Semposi, a bestseller in France and Finland, translated into 18 languages, awarded international prizes, three international prizes, and adapted twice into feature films. His uh, brothers are authors Erno Pasilina, Reino Pasilina, and Mauri Pasilina. Of them, Mr. Reino Pasilina has also served as a member of the Finnish parliament. He studied at the General Elementary School line at the Lapland Folk Academy, and then initially worked as a journalist in various newspapers and <clears throat> a couple of magazines, including Apu or Help and the Finnish Illustrated Magazine. In 1975, at the age of 33, he found journalism growing more superficial and meaningless and desired a change. <coughs> <coughs> that summer, selling his boat to fund the writing of the Year of the Hair. Um, the book was an immediate success and from 1975 onwards, uh, Pasilina became an independent writer able to support himself with his novels signed to Finnish publisher uh, Werner Söderström Publishing Limited since 1977. He still wrote journalism articles and was a columnist on Finnish radio. <clears throat> he also appeared uh, numerous times on the fin Finnish television. In 2000 he was included in the sixth edition of literary critic Mr. Pekka Tarkka's dictionary, <coughs> Finnish contemporary uh, authors, first edition, 1967. <clears throat> In 2002, for Pasilina's 60th birthday, journalist Eino Eino published a biography of Pasilina called uh, The Flight Dude, Arto Pasilina's uh, Life. The same year, Pasilina published his own autobiography called uh, nine Dreams, or Yhdeksen Unelma. In 2008 and 2009, in Espo, where he had lived for a long time, Mr. Pasilina was featured in Finnish tabloids for his incoherent behavior, including reckless driving. He once uh, drove along one of the motorways of Espo uh, in the opposite direction and thus uh, endangered traffic and caused injury. In October 2009, he was rushed to a hospital due to a stroke. In April 2010, he was moved to a convalescent home for recovery and uh, he wasn't able to return home anymore except perhaps for sporadic visits. His son was named as his interest watcher or treasurer because uh, Mr. Pasilina was considered too feeble-minded uh, to take care of his personal finances. <coughs> he died on October the 15th, 2018 in a nursing home in Espoo in the greater Helsinki region of southern Finland. <coughs>